Hey, good Wednesday morning, everybody. This is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Well, another day and more rain in the forecast. Yesterday, it was pretty scattered about in the first half of the day, but boy, it really picked up, especially in the afternoon, evening, and even into the overnight hours. I think we're going to see a very similar setup today across the region. Let me show you the rainfall that has fallen just in the last 24 hours. So these are 24-hour totals. And you can see there's been some pretty good soaking rains across a good chunk of the area. The heaviest rain by far has been in Alexander, Iredell, and parts of Rowan County. Anywhere from 1 to 4 inches of rain in the last 24 hours. As you get closer to Mecklenburg County, you can see there was a heavy rain band back towards Kings Mountain, back down into areas of the upstate, about 3 to 4 inches there. Generally in Mecklenburg County, it was as little as a half an inch, but a few space uh, spots got up to 2 inches. So... Every single square inch of Mecklenburg County saw rain, and really the entire area saw rain. There were a couple of spots that didn't see a whole lot. One of those was a small section here of eastern Chester County. A couple sections here out here in Anson County and Stanley County, and then back into Cleveland County. But everybody saw rain, and this is just day one of what is going to be a very soggy pattern. Let me show you what's going on right now. This is kind of the wider view. You can see the stalled front still to our west. A lot of moisture moving in from the Gulf of Mexico. Um, big area of precipitation developing down here and moving northeast. And as we get some heating of the day here across the Charlotte area, I expect this to fill in pretty quickly. Now, remember yesterday I was showing you um, these uh, the rainfall outlook for the next 24 48 and 72 hours. Well, today I want to show you the updated uh, excessive, what we call excessive rainfall forecast to kind of show you what's going on across the southeast. So let's look at that excessive rainfall forecast for today. You can see the area in yellow. That's where we have that kind of medium threat of a 10 to 20 percent chance of seeing flash flooding within 25 miles. But what's interesting is for tomorrow, Thursday, we've seen an increase above 15 percent um, for areas of western North Carolina. So this is a heightened area um, where flash flooding could be a big concern. And obviously that flood watch is still up for the entire region. As we go into Friday, we still expect at least a low end risk for flash flooding. So even through Friday, I anticipate we're going to have some flooding issues across the area. Um, let me show you real quickly that flood watch, which is still in effect for a big chunk of the area. Pretty much all of western North Carolina is still on this flood watch. Um, we'll see if it fills in here quickly, but flood watch in effect for almost the entire region again through Thursday night, and we might see that extended at some point over the next 24 hours. And again, that water vapor loop kind of telling the story. You can see our upper low back here, big subtropical ridge. Flow around that is clockwise, low pressure counterclockwise, and here it is. Just this, look at this. It's like an atmospheric river of, of moisture coming into the Carolinas. And if you look over the northern Gulf of Mexico, it's a really enhanced area of, of rainfall in that area. So let me show you real quickly. I'm going to show you some of the rainfall forecasts that we're going to see. So here's a look at that seven-day rainfall forecast. And notice the, uh, the axis of heaviest rain is still going to be back here into the mountains and foothills, but across the Charlotte area, conceivably anywhere from two to four inches of rain still in the offing as we go towards uh, Friday, maybe even into Saturday. I really think the potential um, for heavy rain is going to be with us. You see the flood watch in effect. It really stretches all the way down to the Florida panhandle and then up into parts of um, Pennsylvania. So that's a, that's a huge area um, with a flood watch. So this will come in waves. It's not going to rain the entire day. Actually, pretty good lull right now. Uh, temperatures are kind of holding in check right now, which is kind of nice. Uh, most temperatures across the area are in the 70s, and because of the clouds and showers should stay in the mid to upper 70s until that rain moves in later today. Of course, I'll be tracking it throughout the afternoon and evening and keep you up to date. Just remember, if you live near a, a, a flash flood prone area, um, creeks and streams in particular, areas that we have to watch out for, and remember this is an accumulative effect because over the next couple of days, we'll see areas get hit again and again, and that's where we start to get into some real flooding issues um, when we see uh, several areas get hit repeatedly a couple days in a row and that really is the mountains and foothills but even parts of the charlotte area which are very susceptible to flash flooding so please be safe turn around don't drown we always say i know it sounds silly but people still do it i hope you have a great wednesday and i'll see you today starting at four